The city of Auburn has proposed eight cuts to the fire department and four to the police department as a part of their 2013-2014 budget. As with any cuts to those public services, it has both sides thinking about safety. The cuts to the fire department are going to directly affect the service that we can provide. It's going to directly affect the safety of not just the firefighters, but the general public, um, and, and they need to know that. It's certainly one of our concerns as well. Uh, fewer police means fewer uh, uh, cops on the street to pr help prevent crime and respond uh, with the fire department's same kind of concerns. City Manager Selby and Mayor Michael Quill say in the past they've had good negotiations with the firefighters. And while the talks have been respectful this time around, the city and fire department are still at an impasse and have brought in a mediator. They have brought some things to the table, uh, but it hasn't come close enough to what we need to have in order to maintain a sustainable, balanced budget. We're operating at the minimum level of where we're supposed to be. Um, there's no room to spare, so any cuts at all are going to directly affect how we operate at a scene and what we're able to do. This group is proud of the commitment and heart they show every time they leave those doors on a call. And it's something they say it won't change whether or not the cuts happen. But at the same time, they're worried that these possible cuts could affect the time and the performance once they get out on a call. These cuts are going to cause us to not be able to perform at the level we've performed in the past, right. um, plain and simple. Grady says in addition to the statement they're making at tonight's council meeting, they also plan on picketing during Tuesday night's meeting as well. Money is money and you gotta do what you gotta do. But